From this video, we start with working with raster file. So I have a raster file opened here. Now this raster file is representing elevation. So as you can see, it is representing the elevation of a certain place. And from the color ramp here, uh, it is showing us the extreme uh, elevation. The highest elevation is 2807 and the lowest elevation is minus 179. Okay, so and this is the color ramp that is showing the elevation. So uh, using this color ramp, you may may uh, not understand which color is which elevation so to understand it a bit better we can uh, change the classes we can change it to classes so we're going to take a look at how we can change to classes so we're going to do a right click on our file go to properties as same as working with shape files we'll go we're going to go to symbology there there we go from symbology we're going to go to classified now we can uh, classify it into five classes or we can classify it to seven classes or we can classify it to uh, 32 classes so 32 classes is going to be a bit more uh, complicated so let's keep it at five classes now we have class and we can classify it into five classes now first class is going to be the dark black color it's going to represent and values from minus one 179 to positive 172 and the next color which is a uh, grayish black is going to represent the elevations of 172.2941176 to 406.490 and so on now what we can do is we can change the color ramp here so it is the black and white color ramp if you want a, a colorful color ramp you can do that too from there you can just uh, choose a colorful color ramp you can choose this color ramp which is representing the colors with this uh, particular colors now if I want a bit more variation in colors I can choose this one now this is representing uh, the five classes with different colors not the uh, colors uh, same colors with different shades but with individual different colors which would be more uh, understanding for some viewers so we can what we can do is we can use the classify so in the uh, mappings video we have seen how to use the classify we can use the classify in the same manner here so i'm not going uh, in depth discussion of it i just wanted to make sure that you know that you can use the classify as well okay so we're keeping it at five classes click on apply and then click on okay now you can see the five classes have been applied to it now you can understand a bit better so we have the blue areas here so the blue colored area is representing an elevation of 172 to 406 and then we have the somewhat paste color areas that have i, I don't know what you call this color i call it paste so it is from 406 to 699 and then some decimal places as well then the yellow yellow colored position is showing us the 699 to 1261 the elevation values for that and we can easily understand that here this place has some bluish places so that means the base color place uh, is holding somewhere somewhere from 406 to 699 in elevation values and then at the center where the yellow uh, yellow markings are is holding uh, 699 to 1261 elevation somewhere around this range of elevation okay so from this particular color ramp we can understand the elevation a bit better from the black and white one that we had previously and from this particular color you can say that this area here we go has the is the highest elevated area of this entire map so that is uh, the classify work to make us understand a picture better a raster image better to understand for in this case the elevation better so that was it in this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. You got to learn something new. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.